Welcome back, man. At noon local time, Monday, March 26th, the director of Titanic and Avatar returned from the bottom of the Mariana Trench, an ocean floor abyss 50 times larger than the Grand Canyon and deeper than Mount Everest is high. James Cameron told his support team and reporters what he saw, a flat, featureless landscape. It was a very lunar, uh, very desolate place, very, uh, very isolated uh, my, my feeling was one of complete isolation from all of humanity. I mean, I felt like I, literally in the space of one day, have gone to another planet and come back. The 57-year-old explorer made the seven-hour journey in a torpedo-shaped submersible, a one-person craft called the Deep Sea Challenger. He helped design with a team of engineers over the past eight years. The whole sub actually squeezes down uh, almost three inches in length. Uh, when it gets to the bottom of the ocean just because of the pressure. And the sphere that I'm in actually actually shrinks. The, the window that I look out actually pushes in toward me under 16,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. The unique craft is equipped with 3D cameras and a giant LED light tower to illuminate the pitch blackness at the ocean floor. It also has a robotic claw to collect samples of the deep sediment Cameron captured images of his landing site, but was able to bring back only a tiny sample of the bottom because of a problem with the claw's hydraulic controls. Otherwise, he said the vehicle performed well, and he expects future missions to reveal more details about the unusual life forms known to inhabit the ocean floor. Many of the animals that live there are adapted to this extreme pressure, this total darkness, they're usually white, they have no pigment, some of them have eyes to see uh, bioluminescence, some of them have no eyes at all. Cameron's historic journey owes much to a pioneering dive made in 1960 when a two-man crew took a U.S. Navy bathyscaphe called the Trieste to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Trieste pilot Don Walsh was aboard the ship that launched Cameron's submersible on Monday. After his dive, Cameron said he and Walsh are a club of two with a unique bond. Both men have taken a perilous voyage to Earth's final frontier and come back to tell the world about it. It hasn't changed a bit since you were down there. <laughs> Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington. I saw a skin mark of some kind. Might have been you. It's uh, not even, uh, I was looking for those little holothurians. It was bleak. It was like the moon.